Hello! I just wanted to do a quick update today about finding your stats from off-site ads and also I wanted to show you it is possible to turn off off-site ads if you want. So from your Eat Seat Shop Shop Manager, if you go into Stats and then you scroll down below how shoppers found you, you'll see see traffic and sales driven by off-site ads. And you click on that, see more info about off-site ads, and this gives you your ads dashboard, I'm going to call it. And here you can pick the time period. Um, let's just give it this year because it's only been running a couple of months. Well, it's only been gathering data a couple of months. And this is where you get, as we talked about before, the number of times your ads were shown and how many orders. Um, clicks, sorry, clicks rather than the number of times it was shown and how many orders. Um, tells you a little about it. There's links to take you to some of their, some of their descriptions. And here, it firstly shows you how much it would have cost you if you were paying, as you can see here, it says they've waived the fee for just now. They're waiving it until at least the end of the month. Um, and it tells you how much you've made in that time period. This is your advertised item. This is the item that the people saw and clicked in wherever it was they saw the ads. And then you get the date it was clicked and also where it was clicked. So my ad here was shown in Google that people are finding it. And then the item that the shopper bought, because someone might come to your shop due to that ad and then click about in your shop, find other things and end up buying something different. In my case, that hasn't been the case. They've bought the thing that they've seen. And also, again, the date of sale, because Etsy counts for the 30 days after they've seen your ad. They assume this person has found your shop because of this ad. And so you'll be charged for any sales within 30 days. But what it looks like online is certainly the people see this listing on the day they click on it. They buy that listing. <clears throat> Right, so that's a quick description of what's going on there. But what people really want to know is how can you turn off these ads? So it's quite convoluted. It shouldn't be this difficult. There shouldn't be, it, it, we should be able to turn it off from here, or there should be a link from here, but there isn't. We have to go into settings and then off site ads. And this page, I do not understand the point of it at all. But anyway, we've got offsite ads help you reach buyers across the web. Our team of advertising experts is promoting your items on high traffic sites, including Google, Instagram, Feed, Facebook, Pinterest and Bing to help you reach buyers across the web. It's risk free advertising. We pay the upfront cost to promote your item. You only pay when you make a sale from these ads, a 15% ad fee. And obviously mine is at the 15% because I was just slightly below the 10,000 a year for last year. Learn how to optimize your listings and get the best results from offsite ads. They've got a, a link to a page there that does some descriptions. Again, another link to a page. And what we have, the only thing this page that's hidden in settings, stop promoting my products. So you can choose to switch off your off-site ads already. And that takes you to the stats page that we're already on. Now, for people who want to, you can switch it off right now if that's what you want to do. But what I'm going to say is there's really no point because at the minute in time, the off-site ads are free. We are getting free traffic. Etsy are paying for us to get these adverts until the end of the month. So you've got another two weeks, so leave them running. But this is where you find to stop them if you don't want to be charged. So as I said, it's in settings, off-site ads. And just keep an eye for the next two weeks. Keep an eye on how much this would have been costing you. For me, personally, paying an extra 20 quid to get an extra £133 in sales. Now, I know all the other fees come in on top of this as well. But for me, it is still worth it. But if in your shop you're looking and you're saying, this is just going to be costing me far too much, then you now know 
how to switch off your ads. Anyway, I hope that helped and I'll see you next time.